Yeah, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Collins, Collins Modi from Nigeria. I guess you've been enjoying the tutorials on this channel. Uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and invite your friends over. Okay, I. If you have any questions on the tutorials you've watched before, please do well to always revert back to me and. Um, like I always promise that you keep getting more video tutorials on this channel on Aspen Heises. Uh Today we'll be handling uh, equilibrium reaction. And for those who have gone through the tutorial video on uh, conversion reaction, this is more like a continuation on that. So this is the last thing we did on conversion reaction. So we're going to be continuing from here. All right. Now we understand that um, after the production of hydrogen from fuel gas or from um, um, alcohol all right it is required that uh, further purification is carried out on it in order not to um, um, poison the anode of the P uh, pm fuel cell okay so we we have to purify the product from the conversion reaction or conversion reactor uh, rather we have to purify it to reduce the concentration of co to about 10 ppm okay so that's the essence of this so we, we will have to use steam to carry out this operation. But if it is not done, there's every possibility or likelihood that the anode of the PM cell will be poisoned and um, the efficiency of the cell will be reduced. All right. So the water gas shift reaction ha um, it, it has been in use for over 30 years for this particular um, purpose. All right. So we're going to use it as a case study to... to um, learn how to model an equilibrium reaction and also an equilibrium reactor okay so everything the material streams everything has been added but we need to add we need to add um, water because we need steam so we'll go back to properties okay under our component list we have to add water we need water and that's the only thing we need now we need water yeah Okay, so what I've been added, then we'll go back to reaction. We already have our oxidation reaction, so we want to add the equilibrium reaction. Alright, so I'll change this to equilibrium. Excuse me, change this to equilibrium reaction. Okay, sorry, this has not been lighted. Okay, equilibrium reaction. Okay, so, alright. So I have to add reaction, select equilibrium, click add reaction. We have just one reaction, okay? So for this reaction, we have CO reacting with, with steam to give CO2 and um, hydrogen. Okay, so we have one mole of CO reacting with one mole of water to give um, one mole of CO and um, one mole of hydrogen. So as you can see, this the balance error is zero. So the base unit, okay, everything we need is, a, is, is in vapor phase, okay. So um, all right. So we have to leave it at uh, activity. Go back. Attached to fluid package already. Already, okay. Do you wish to hold? Um, no, so and now we have our equilibrium reaction ready. So we have to add the material stream, <laughs> we have to define our steam, okay. Steam, okay. So here we have more fraction has to be one. Okay. Okay. Hundred degrees Celsius. Two bar. Of molar flow rate hundred. Okay. So we get our equilibrium reactor, which is um, um, these are equilibrium reactions. So we'll get it out. So we have the oxidation vapor. Oxidation vapor reacting with the steam. 
uh, to give us EQVP VP um, and this. Okay, you can actually give it any name you want. All right, so we'll come over to change this to equilibrium reaction. All right, so like I said, you can actually rate this. Your rating depends on your calculations. All right, your um, reactor sizing calculation. Okay. All right, so that's all about this so let's look at this the composition and see what happened okay so initially initially we have what's the percentage of how about eight percent of co2 reacting all right, let's check it in basis. Let's check for the flow rates, the more flow. So how about 40, 40 kilogram mole per hour of um, CO? All right, that came out from the conversion reactor. So let's look at the outlet of um, the equilibrium reactor. So I've changed this to more flow so we can see what really happened. All right, so we've been able to reduce it from about 40 mole to about 23 mole percent. Oh, sorry, more flow. All right, and uh, more hydrogen was formed. About 165 was formed as against um, 120 or thereabout. Okay, it's against 149, so we have about 165. All right, so that's basically how to carry out your equilibrium reaction. All right, you can come to reaction and check the percentage conversion. Okay, the conversion can be increased. All right, you can work more on that to increase uh, the conversion of the reaction. So basically, this is how to model your equilibrium reactor. All right, uh, probably I'll just go back a little so you understand. You come over to the reaction, um, select your equilibrium reaction, um, come over to this place, change. Um, Impute the component, put this documented coefficient, make sure that the balance error is zero, and select your basis, activity, partial pressure, more concentration, and uh, more fraction. If you're using more concentration, you have to select the phase, is it vapor phase or liquid phase? Okay, um, the reaction is basically in vapor phase. So let's see, let's see the effect on the reaction. Let's see the effect on the, on the conversion. No much no no effect still 40 sorry about that it's still 40 all right so like i was saying you can select your basis more concentration definitely our reaction is in vapor phase so we have to select vapor phase all right and um if it's mass concentration it all depends on your reaction you select the basis that's a phase two and all that so we leave it at activity in vapor phase all right and that's it so thank you for watching um you have to go through this again so you understand better all right if you open this all i did here was to come here impute the inlet the, the outlet that's the vapor outlet and the liquid in, liquid outlet came over to reaction select selected the reaction set has already been defined from the um properties man properties manager all right and then um, came over here rates my my reactor but for the rating there are formulas for um your reactor design you can go to octave living spare that's chemical reaction kinetics by octave living spare you see um reaction you see um formulas for calculating or for sizing your reactor all right you do that and you know what you, the diameter of your reactor or the volume will be imputed all right that will also help help you a lot all right thank you very much for your time i really appreciate and um i think in the next video we'll have to work on um 
um, a kinetic reaction using CSTR and um, plug flow reactor. To, okay, I think first I have to do the plug flow before the CSTR. So try as much as possible to follow, and um, you learn more about this. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.